Welcome everybody. Uh, in these few sessions that we shall be having, we shall be discussing issues to do with health economics. Uh, so this is the first of the, uh, the lectures that we shall have under this module. So health economics, just that the way it sounds, uh, we have the term economics in there and then the term health in there. So um, economics as a term refers to the study of how people make choices on what to use, what to produce, and uh, based on the scarce resources that, that they have at their disposal. So how do people make those decisions? That's a field of, of economics. Whereas health economics is basically applying all those theories and principles in how people make decisions and translating them into the health sector. And therefore, you should understand some very, very basic terms like utility, which is the benefit that you derive from goods that you have purchased or services that you have procured. Scarcity is the fact that we don't usually have a lot in terms of resources, so resources are often limited in number. So but we cannot satisfy everyone's need. Therefore, we have scarce resources. And then opportunity cost is if you buy a given product, there is, there is an alternative that you are foregone. So the cost of the foregone alternative after buying the product that you have bought is what you call the opportunity cost. So therefore, we, we shall be frequently talking about uh, goods, which are basically tangible products, and then services which are uh, intangible. Why do we need to look at health economics, for example? We understand already that we have very few resources, but we need to share these resources such that we have better health outcomes. So health economics provides us with the tools and the principles to be able to make those decisions in allocating the resources that we have. What resources do we have in the health sector? So that quantification is very, very important. And also the health services that we, we offer the population um, are, are procured, they are procured, so they, they are, there should be a financing mechanism to get these resources, these, these health resources, the medical supply, the drugs, the, the, the payment of the, of the health workers, and the rest. So we need to have a finance, financing mechanism. How do we make sure that the health services are being provided continuously in a sustainable way? So we need to have uh, good or efficient uh, efficient, equitable financing mechanisms in place. Health economics allows us to determine which are the sustainable, efficient, and equitable financing mechanisms uh, in the health sector. And then um, health influences uh, economic development, and also economic development influences health. So we look at the interaction of health and and, uh, and economics. So health economics as a field allows, allows us to be able to understand the relations between healthcare services on the individuals and healthcare services on the economy and then the effect of the economy on healthcare services. So how does health influence economics? If one is not healthy, they will not be able to go and work. So poor health results into reduced productivity, whereas good health results into increased productivity. People who are in the lower economic class have poor health outcomes compared to those that are in the upper economic class. So poverty is associated with poor health outcomes and 
we need to be able to deal with this because it could result into health disparities. So healthcare as a field, or healthcare economics as a field is quite different from the usual economics. Why? Because the government takes keen interest in matters to do with health. And the participation of governments in health has impact on the supply and demand of healthcare services. And then also the buyers, or you, you can call them the clients, the patients who demand for services from health providers sometimes may not be certain of the disease they are suffering from. Even the health providers may not be certain of the conditions that their patients are suffering from. And they may also not be certain whether the treatment they are giving will result into healing or better health outcomes. So there is a degree of uncertainty in the healthcare economics. Uh, in comparison to other fields of economics. And then the other aspect is that there is knowledge asymmetry, which is to say that the providers have more information compared to the clients, who are usually the patients. So this kind of uh, difference in terms of knowledge levels influences issues to do with demand and supply of healthcare services. And also it distorts the market basically, it causes market distortion. We shall look at this uh, in the subsequent lectures. And then the concept of externality that the action of an individual can have uh, a positive or a negative impact on another individual's health. That is a concept of externality, which we shall also look at. So basically, what we have seen in this presentation is that health economics is concerned with how people make decisions on health using uh, principles and theories from the mainstream economic fields. And the fact that as, as the globe, the, the expenditure in health is increasing, the budgetary allocation to health sector is increasing, and this makes health economics a very important field uh, going forward. So it's a growing field that makes sure that uh, health systems are efficient the resources are optimally used to better people's health outcomes. Thank you very much.